Hello folks, welcome to Sim Update 7. This video will give you a few tricks and tips in order to get around some of the annoying VR bugs, unfortunately, that have happened since this update. This is thanks to my Discord channel, actually. I'll have a link in the description below of where you can join because the people in there are so supportive and knowledgeable that they're on it straight away with any tips and tricks that really help. First of all, this actually relates to 2D mode. We're in VR at the moment inside the HP Reva G2, but having said that, this is important. Make sure that your mouse is set to default there, okay? That will enable you to zoom in and out of the world map in 2D mode. I think many have had it on there, including me, mouse profile. So put that back to default, and then you'll be able to zoom in and out of the map, no problems at all. Okay, that's the first one. By the way, the second just basically relates to the Revo G2. The haptic control is much better. In fact, it works really, really well, actually. So that is absolutely brilliant. Um, I've been flying around uh, with DirectX 11, and uh, it actually feels pretty good. The haptic feedback isn't very precise. That's not really the controller so much as the coding. I think it might improve over time, hopefully, but even so... Look at that. I can now move dials, and as I move them, I can feel the clicks in the controller. That's really cool. So I'm pleased to say that there is haptic feedback, but for some reason it's not working on the Quest. So please let me know in the comments if anyone knows of a fix for that one. Right, the next thing involves this, the um, basically the toolbar. At the moment, it's not working, okay? But all I need to do, bit annoying I know, is go to the keyboard and press control and zero. Right, now look at it. It suddenly works. Look at that. How cool is that? So that is a great little workaround. Control and zero, and you've got access to your toolbar once again. I think the only thing to add is that DirectX 11 is definitely the best way to enjoy this sim still. You get a better performance. I'll link uh, a very good friend of mine, Gary, from Immerse Robot, he did a comparison test, and absolutely DirectX 12 is down on frame rate. So I'd recommend sticking with, uh, you know, good old DirectX 11 until they get things sorted out. It is a beta after all. That's about it for now, guys. If I find anything else, I'll let you know. And uh, yeah, take care. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye for now.